Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm today. I'm doing a compar comparison video with a uh, Freyland steel pole um, 43 pickups. Uh, they are a P90 flavored Telecaster pickup, and I'm comparing that with some Twisted uh, Fender Custom Shop Twisted Tele pickups um, that were originally in my Fender Elite Thinline Telecaster. Um, the previous owner had changed the noiseless pickups out of it. Um, and so I felt like changing, I bought it because it was discounted so much because of that. And I was intending on putting P90 pickups in it anyway. So, um, it just hit the right, right moment for me. Anyway, um, this is going into my Fender, into my 1968 Fender Pro Reverb. Um, but prior to that, it's going through an Earthquaker Devices Plumes. And from there, it's being mic'd with an SM58 going into a Golden Age Pre-73 mic pre uh, which also is then going into an audio interface, a Presonus 1824C, and uh, I'm using Studio One to um, to work on the audio. Uh, the video here is done through um, through the Premier Elements. Uh, I think it's the last year's Premier Elements program. Anyway, um, just a couple of quick notes. Uh, I I left the uh, 250K pick um, a pot inside of my inside of my Telecaster. Uh, Freyland does recommend using 500k pots. Uh, however, they did mention that if um, if you want a bit of a darker tone, to try the 250k um, pot in it. Um, I enjoy that. I like a darker telly tone. I'm not a traditional um, telly player in that sense. I'm not very country minded, um, and so that suits me just fine. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm going to put up a couple pictures of the settings on the amp as well as the uh, the um, the pedal. Oh, and I'm, I also have a hot um, a hot plate, a THD hot plate, which is just helping keep the volume a little bit lower, which I usually do with the Pro Reverb, because it can uh, that 40 tube watts can get pretty loud here in this uh, in my little basement studio here.
Just a few closing thoughts here on um, on the pickup change. Um, I'm really pleased with the um, the steel pole 43 pickups. Um, I'm not a very traditional sounding Telecaster player, so I like to play. Uh, I like a little bit of a darker tone in my um, Telecaster. I kept the same pot on the, on the Telecaster, so that's an important note to keep. They do recommend changing to the 500k pot. That, however, would make this uh, quite a bit brighter than it is, and um, depending on how you like your guitar, I, I have found that the 2, 250K was actually right, the right brightness for me. I'm not an overly bright Tele guy, even though I really love the feel of the guitars, and um, Telecasters are really what I like playing the most. Um, but really happy with it. The only only complaint I had was that there was a change, uh, that they, or sorry, the little um, grommets that come with the pickups um, are quite a bit shorter than the ones that came with the uh, the fender uh, fender ones so the, the part you put you've got the the pickup is screwed the screw comes through the top of the pick guard and then in between the pick guard and the pickup there's a little rubber spacer and um, I'm gonna post a picture here um, of the difference in size um, the fender is twice as twice as thick or twice as uh, long sorry and what that just means is that my my pickup here is a little wob more wobbly than it was before and because it doesn't have a cover uh, it doesn't really fit in there so it took a little bit of messing around with it to get it to uh, sit there uh, nice and flat but um, I think when I get a new set of strings uh, on here and I open up the, the pick guard I'm going to change that out but other than that the pickups are a lot hotter I had to up the uh, the gain um, on the fenders in order to uh, compensate for the different different levels and gain and that was really the only change I made uh, in the in my DAW for um, changing uh, for the two two versions of the uh, of the song um, and uh, other, other than that I didn't add any EQ I didn't uh, add any compression even um, all of those things would just make the song a little bit uh, better sounding but I wanted to give a little bit clearer of a, of a picture of what these things sounded like. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if, if, if you want to press uh, subscribe, I'm going to mess around. I think my next video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to source together a 500K as well as the 250K uh, pots that I have here and make a video in a comparison, comparing the two uh, that I'll probably do in the next couple of weeks. I just got to get the parts first. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thanks again.